Hey guys, welcome back. Another tip, another Tuesday. So today, we're gonna do a little drill that goes hand in hand with the one that we did last week. Um, so Neil, kind of, you can go over what we went over last week. Yeah, exactly. So last week we talked about staying in our posture through impact, and as we get down to the ball here, really keeping this line through our back as we swing through and firing that ball underneath. But we're going to elaborate on that a bit and talk about the entire posture through the whole swing. So I'm going to go through those through setup, grab an alignment stick, uh, broom handle, golf club, broken hockey stick, anything really, anything, anything, anything at all, anything you can find laying around your house. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross our hands over on the alignment stick and put it up on top of our shoulders. We're not going to hold it down by our elbows. This doesn't give us a great representation of our turn. We want to be up nice and high. Exactly. So as Neil gets in here, um, so what this shows is how the upper body moves throughout the golf swing. So as you can see here, Neil's posture is really good. He has these lines, nice good lines, nice crisp lines, which is what you want to work on. Um, and as we come back, so notice how when Neil turns, how that top of the line, alignment stick is pointing right down at the ball. And then as he comes through, you notice how that side of the alignment stick is now pointed at that ball. So this is really important of how the body, how you get down and hit that golf ball. So what happens where if Neil, if you bring that back more flat, so what happens here, so the body comes up, he starts to lose his posture here, so his lines aren't as good. And then as he comes forward, he swings more lateral. Again, not a good position at all. The upper body, like, it's just kind of a mess. Yeah, and what we often see too, man, like you said, it's a little bit of a mess, but it does feel like we rotate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like the representation of the second one there still felt like I rotated through, but I didn't keep my posture. And a really dangerous move is what we see is when we do flatten this out, then we have the dreaded over the top move to get back down at the ball and really throw ourselves down at the ball and get in here where we catch it thick. We kind of get those tops involved too, or even miss the ball. Yeah. But what I want to see people do is when they get in our, the posture and perform this, it's nice and slow. Because as you can see, when I rotate through here and I get going, as I come back, I really want to feel the stretch, right? Exactly. And look how good. So it's really good rotation. And it's more on an angle as well. The whole swing is done kind of on an angle. So then as he comes through, so go ahead and he'll come through again. And look how much of his hips rotate a lot better and his shoulders down. So he's going to be able to get down and make really good contact with that ball. Yeah. And like we mentioned last week, those crisp, clean contacts, like Joe said, this goes hand in hand with the one from last week. You put both of these together and you're really going to see that ball fly and get that up in the air without helping to do it. So. Exactly. All right, guys, try this one out and see you next Tuesday.